Okay guys, welcome to Udon Tani. Just checked into the hotel here. It's one of those kind of hotels. It's actually a really nice room. It's called the uh, Lion Lion King. There's a sign somewhere. Yeah. Right over here. It's <laughs> behind that tree. Called the Lion King. It's a nice place. It's got a written. 9.0 rating or something 9.0 out of 10 rating or something a little crazy hotel I stayed at last night had a ridiculous rating too yeah it shouldn't be more than 5 5 out of 10 in my opinion but what do you do right uh, the good thing about this is only less than an hour drive from Nankai to here so we took off first thing in the morning, stopped at a market halfway, or actually just north of town here. 15 kilometers, actually it was 15 kilometers north of town. And got food there for breakfast. Came here and just drove around and around in traffic. Oh my God, this is just like Bangkok. You took a chunk out of Bangkok and transplanted it in Northeast Thailand you get udon thani uh, i have been here before i've spent a couple nights here uh 2013 maybe 2012 i'm not sure spent two nights here and uh, it's grown a lot it hasn't grown bigger it's grown busier uh, it is bigger too there's a lot more stuff probably but uh it's just Every road, you know, all the main roads are bumper to bumper, but all the the side roads is just just as bad. It is crazy. You know, when you come from the farm to this, <laughs> yeah, I'll never live in the city again if I got anything to say about it. Never say never, but man, it's not not a part of my plan. That's for sure. This is kind of out of the way, but not really. It's a good out of the way. Uh, all the hotels on this trip, the six days, are three star hotels, I think. Three or three and a half. And uh, they're cheap, you know. This, this hotel is 640 baht. Doesn't include breakfast, although they do have breakfast. There's a restaurant right there. Lion King restaurant. So if we'll have breakfast there or not, I don't know. Uh, it's just easier and better to pick something up on the way. It might not be easier. It definitely tastes better. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go to National Park. There's one national park in this province. It's quite a ways away. Uh, going to be close to two hours, I would think. Get out of the city early, maybe it won't be right. <laughs> it's uh, it's one of those things. It's a couple hours away. I think there's something else in that area as well. I'm not sure now. I have to check my notes. Found a cool one today. I found a bee farm. Uh, there was nobody there, unfortunately. But there was a motorbike, so somebody might have been hiding in the grass somewhere. I don't know where they went. But yeah, tons and tons of beehives. Not the kind of bees I want. Because I want the little stingless bees. Just for fun, that's all I want them for. Uh, but there was a lot of hives there. Not, not a lot of them were full. Not all of them were full, but... Uh, lots of bees around there, that's for sure. So that was a good find. I did see another same idea south of here. When I found was north. There's another one that's south of here. I saw on the highway when I was when I was coming up uh, the other day. So it's not an unusual thing, and not a rare thing. There's at least two of them, and that's right off the highway, highway number two. But that was a good find. I've been driving around here all day. I uh, did a couple videos already. Bus, bus, 
I always want to say bus station. Bus terminal, there's two of them. Went to both. Uh, did the airport video already as well. Uh, found the immigration office. It's been a busy morning. It's been non-stop driving. Uh, train station is not far from here. Uh, I haven't done it yet. I went there, there was no train, so it's a long time, a couple hour wait, so I took off. And uh, there's a park that's half a kilometer from here. There's a couple of nice parks in the city. There's tons of markets, tons and tons and tons of markets. No way I'll ever get all of them. But we'll do a few market videos while, while I'm here. Uh, this is a full on city, right? This place has everything. Tons and tons of expats here. Um, lots of tourists. The airport, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> the airport is busy. Uh, quite, a f quite a few uh, white faces in there. Not a lot, but uh, mostly Thai people, but still there's a few. Uh, interesting airport. Doesn't look like much on the outside, that's for sure, but it's nice inside. What else? I think that's it. Like I say, this is a full-on city. It has everything. If you if you wanted or needed, it's here. But with that comes traffic. Gotta hit traffic. <laughs> but I think the rest of this video is just going to be traffic. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna get a cup of tea now. I haven't had one for a couple of weeks or a couple of days, so uh, it'll be good. And uh, yeah, that's not good, huh? A couple of days, no tea. It is. And who knows what the afternoon will bring? It's probably one o'clock now or something close to that. We'll see what happens. I want to get at least one of these park videos done today. It's just so hot right now, jeez. Nice little breeze right here, but you get out in the sun, wow. Make you blister. All right, let's see what happens. I hear someone singing. <laughs> it's not that good. I would not want to be those kids right now. Almost feel bad for them. It is crazy hot. Sitting in the sun like that. Yeah, that's no fun. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I mean, welcome to Udon. Red Light City. I'd be stuck in traffic all day, but at least I got a big TV to watch. <laughs> it's a very cool sign you got there. This is a sign shop, obviously. That's pretty cool, huh? Central Plaza. I think it used to have a different name. I'm not 100% sure of that, but I thought it had a different name. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Take that up there anyway. 
Ooh, what's that? What? Wow, the guy is actually moving now. The guy in the black truck, he cut off the ambulance. You know, it's bad in Thailand for people not getting out of the way for ambulances. And you can see nobody's stopping here, huh? This guy's in a serious need to get through. And uh, you hardly ever hear uh, a siren from the ambulance. Flashing lights, yeah, but not siren. The guy in the black truck, he cut the ambulance off, actually. He cut me off, he cut off car, and then the ambulance, driving like an idiot. But he actually smartened up and moved over the way. Ambulances don't get no respect in this country, that's for sure. Still lots of traffic. <laughs> Long time ago in Malaysia, I did a video called the smallest McDonald's ever, ever. And it was just a little uh, ice cream stand, basically, in the mall. This here is a full McDonald's, full menu. Burgers, fries, shakes, whatever you want. It is eight feet wide and 12 feet long. <laughs> and it's got the golden arches. See, there's the menu, or part of it. The special of the day, you want Big Mac, whatever you want, it's in there. There's one lady working alone. And there's the tables. Good deal, huh? Okay, guys. Busy day, busy day. Didn't get everything done that I wish I could have gotten done. But it was a good day, no, no doubt. Uh, I went to an orchid place and <clears throat> there were no orchids <laughs> or not very few still a very cool place he said that uh, the orchids are gonna be in bloom next week probably that's when they'll get going there's a few but this is a place it's a business where he sells perfumes and stuff like that made with orchid flowers which is pretty cool but I talked to the guy for like an hour. Really cool guy. Spoke pretty good English. Interesting. And he's got a plant there called the dancing plant or the dancing Dad, flower or something that he designed 20 years ago from two different, bred two different plants and now he got this plant that can dance to the right kind of music and it's pretty cool, it really is. Not something I got any video of because, well, music and everything, but uh, cool, cool place. Cool guy, that helps. Drive 550 meters, then turn left. Took forever to get the, the train video, but I got it done. Finally, the train was almost an hour late. I don't know how many times I've been to the train station today, but too many finally got that done but right outside the train station is where that uh, U, uh, UD town Udon Tani town that's where that's located and there's a ton of markets and even all the way down this road it's all markets and unbelievable all the way down there everywhere it's everywhere <laughs> street food central let me tell you what what to eat. I saw some amazing, totally amazing food, or seafood, in that uh, Udon UD town. What are you doing? Yeah, just go, don't worry about the rest of us. If there's no space, just make it. Go anyway, what can happen? Uh, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, the seafood. Holy man, holy man. The biggest shrimp I've ever seen, freshwater shrimp. Giant uh, oysters. Cool looking crab. Some crab I've never seen before. Gonna be interesting. That's for sure. Getting out of the crazy now. That's good, I've had enough crazy for one day. 
It is a very busy city, let me tell you what. 1.7 million people. I don't know if that's in the city or in the province. There's a lot of people here. That's for sure. Let's see what happens here. Drive 700 meters, then turn right. Well, that's it, guys. We'll call it a day right here. I just bought some food. We'll eat at the hotel. Uh, I said this hotel we're staying at is three star. It claims to be four. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this star system anymore. I don't know if it's just Thailand or or what, but they're very generous with the stars around here. A nice hotel would be about ten stars according to the Thailand rating system. All right, guys. As always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Traffic everywhere. It never ends. Just like being in Bangkok.